In a world filled with hate, one man will rise. You mean two men, right? Two men will rise. Hello, I'm here too. Two men and one woman will rise. Um, <clears throat> really? Two men and Christine Mathias will rise. Let's get it started in here. You know what? Let's just start the show. And here we go. Welcome to the Geek Speak Radio Show with your hosts, Henry, Larry, and Christine Mathias. Why, well, hello, beautiful. Get ready to speak geek. People who get it, get it. On the Geek Speak Radio Show. Speaking with us today is the director of programming. She is Jennifer K. Stiller. Jen, hi. Hi. Hi, Jen. Hello. How are you doing today? Great. How about you guys? Doing great. Thanks a lot for coming on the show, first of all. So uh, let's get right into the end of the uh, Geek Girl Con, first of all. Uh, real quick, since, you know, Kiri told us before, but real quick, tell us, what is it all about? What is it? When is it? Everything. Geek Girl Con, uh, obviously, it's a convention for women um, and our allies. Uh, it's dedicated to celebrating, networking, um, empowering, learning about women in the sciences, in comics, in video games, um, in all kinds of gaming, uh, women in television, pop culture history, um, you know, life lessons from gaming, women in horror, all kinds of awesome things, but from the female perspective and experience. Hey, Jen, I'm just curious, how daunting is it to pretty much start a con from scratch? <laughs> it's incredibly daunting. I think I think the 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 most daunting thing isn't necessarily the the putting it together um because we have a lot of really uh a lot of really driven people that are all really good at unique things. Um the most daunting thing is uh raising the cash. <laughs> it's, the money. Con, it's very expensive to put on. So that's sort of taken the longest. It took us about six months to raise just a deposit for our space. Um, but now that we have our space, we can start start selling tickets, start booking guests, and that, those sort of things help us raise the funds that we'll need to make this a successful convention. Well, and Jen, you guys have been working overtime, essentially trying to, you have a lot of different things going on to try to raise money, right? Um, an eBay auction. Did I hear that you guys are building a TARDIS? From yes, Doctor Who right now? <laughs> We're participating. It's our, our uh, gaming manager um, saw that BBC America was having a Build the TARDIS competition oh. and decided that, you know, not only would this be a really fun thing for us and our community, um, it could end up being a great fundraiser. We're going to fill it with um, gifts, geeky gifts for donation to the Children's Hospital. Um, whether or not we win the BBC America contest, which would be very cool. It's really great publicity for us. And right. like, who doesn't want to build a TARDIS? Exactly. No, there is no one. I would put it in my very small apartment if I could yeah. find space. So you guys are doing other things to raise money, right, as well? What, uh, like an eBay auction, people can go check out uh, Swag Online and buy it and donate money to you? Yeah, people. So people are thinking has donated stuff. Um, uh, Scarecrow Video, which is local, it's like the world's greatest video store ever. Um, they have like laser discs for rent. Um, they donated uh, like ten movie rentals. Um, so, but so you don't I'm, have to live in Se you don't have to live in Seattle. This is all taking place oh, in no, Seattle, this, by the way. This is everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Um, people have donated artwork. People have donated signed books. Cool. Um, we started out doing Twitter auctions um, and, and then have since moved to the eBay. Um, we are doing, uh, our design team organizes craft days and so those sorts of things go up. We're going to have a, an Etsy site where you can buy Geek Girl Con crafts. Um, we did Christmas ornaments. Um, Gosh, what else? Buttons, all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, it's 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 all very it's all volunteer and it's all very grassroots. Um, we've done film screenings to raise money. We'll hopefully do some more. Um, and we started working towards you know getting sponsors, which which really helps. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was looking at your website and a couple of things jumped out at me. I you're going to have a flash mob uh, on was it March fifth. That is actually the Emerald City Geek Girls. Oh, okay. Um, and and we're we're 
doing that with them, we're sort of cross promoting what we will they will be doing a dance routine that anybody can learn how to do online. And then we'll all be walking over to uh, Shorty's um, for arcade, pinball, and lunch. So it's kind of like a meet and greet thing. So while we've been doing um, fundraisers, we've also been doing social events because one of the things we're committed to throughout the year is creating like these spaces, these safe spaces for women to come together and be geeky. So like we've had a cocktail social. Um, we're doing the um, we're doing the you know pinball at Shorty's that sort of thing. So yeah. And I, and I also noticed, and this really appeals to the geek in me. You're going to have a scavenger hunt. Yes, uh, we are having a scavenger hunt on, it's on Oscar Day. Uh, <laughs> that's, this, that's this Sunday, right? This Sunday, yeah. Um, and that will be held in Vancouver, Washington. And that's part of our game manager's path to Geek Girl Con. So we're having fundraisers, um, one gaming event or gaming tournament each month, starting in Portland and just creeping its way up to Seattle. So that's another great fundraiser as well. We're talking to Jen K. Stiller, who is the uh, programming and events coordinator for Geek Girl Con. So, Jen, again, let's get into the con itself. Um, who, do you, who, what panels do you have confirmed? What guests, especially, do you have confirmed already? Well, for guests, we have Bonnie Burton. She works for Lucasfilm. Um, she does all of the wonderful. You can draw Star Wars panels at WonderCon and Comic Con. Um, she also has a Star Wars crafts book coming out next month, I believe. Uh, she runs the official Star Wars blog and Twitter page. And she has written a book um, called Girls Against Girls, Why We Are Mean to Each Other and How We Can Change. Hmm. Um, and so, you know, I hope to see Bonnie doing... Um, we, we we're committed to being kid-friendly, so I hope to see her doing, like, a You Can Draw Star Wars thing or some sort of craft demonstration. But I also hope to see her on a panel, you know, talking about self-esteem um, and community for young women. Um, Greg Rucka and Jen Van Meter, the power couple of comics, are going to be there as our guests. Um, Greg has written for DC and Marvel and Oni uh, and is an author. And Jen is best known for her comic, uh, Hope of Savages. Um, Trina Robbins, she's San Francisco-based um, and is one of my favoritest people ever, uh, is a cartoonist and comics historian. Uh, she was one of the original co-founders of the Women's, Women's Comics Collective, um, an underground cartoonist collective uh, that started in the 1970s, and she put together actually the very first all-female written and drawn comic um, in Berkeley in the late 60s, early 70s called It Ain't Me, Babe. Um, and uh, Marion Call is going to be there. She is a fantastic singer, and I think that she's interested in doing something on self-esteem for young girls. Um, Gail Simone, who... <laughs> All the girls are wow. totally excited to meet. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, and she's going to be there. And, um, uh, yeah, and it just started snowing in Seattle. Anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, so those are the people that – those are the, the guests that we have confirmed. We're talking to a couple of other people. Um, there are some people that I've contacted who shall remain nameless, who um, whose speaking fee rivals the entire convention budget. Oh no, <laughs> no you have to tell us who it is. <laughs> so, so they won't be. So they won't be coming um, <laughs> this year. Uh, that that was a that those sort of things are a little bit shocking um, uh, when you're like, you charge how much? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are we talking? Uh, are we talking six figures? Are we talking high fives? Are we talking twenty thousand? Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, it's too expensive. We'll just put it that way. Anyway, so basically, what you're saying is Sarah Palin won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go well, to the Sarah Palin. Michelle Geller place. As as Trina said, uh, I was actually at her house being interviewed for a documentary right after the whole Sarah Palin uh, candidacy was announced um, when she was going to be you know, running for vice president, and Trina said. Some women just aren't sisters. <laughs> See? <laughs> She'd be an excellent counterpoint to the panel on self-esteem that you're planning yeah, exactly, on doing. If exactly. you can be nice to Sarah Palin, you can be nice to any woman. Well, and so here's here's the great thing. Um, 
you know, even if we can't afford big name speakers, um, I mean, people like Greg and Jen and Gail and everybody that's agreed to come is like, they're all being cheap dates for us because they think that it's a great cause. Um, and the other thing is we at Geek Girl Con know and have been contacted by so many other amazing and interesting people. And so not having some of those like really big guests isn't going to make our programming any less engaging. Right. Um, we're going to be screening footage from a documentary feature uh, called History of the Universe as Told by Wonder Woman. And it explores how representations of women have evolved over time. And it, you know, Trina Robbins, Gail Simone, Gloria Steinem, they've all been interviewed for it. Linda Carter. Well, you were interviewed for it. I mean, let's make sure we, we tell everybody that the book you released <laughs> last year is... Was a, is essentially along the same lines. It's called Ink Stained Amazons and Cinematic Warriors, Superwomen in Modern Mythology. That's a huge deal. Don't underscore your own contribution to the <laughs> genre, all right? No, and, and I wouldn't. I, but when it, when it comes to Geek Girl Con, I'm, I'm, I'm being very careful about... Uh, tooting not, your own horn? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, and, okay. I, and, I, and I don't have a problem tooting my own horn. It's that I want to toot all Geek Girl's horns. Absolutely. <laughs> um. So one of the things that we'll be able to do is, uh, since, you know, Gail and Trina are, are going to be there and I'm going to be there, um, we'll be able to have a, a panel of experts interviewed for the documentary talking about, you know, the movie and um, the director will be there. We have the uh, editor-in-chief of I Can Has Cheeseburger. What? Um, yeah. She, what? They're, they're <laughs> Seattle-based. So they- oh, my God. <laughs> If you don't know that website, then you are seriously disturbed and you have not seen the funniest cats on the planet. So please go to I Can't yep. Has Cheeseburger. Chicks, chicks, love, uh, chicks love running their own businesses and they love cats. So she's going to be giving a presentation. Yes is- and yes. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. We, we, we've got a panel on uh, representations of geek girls in popular culture. Um, and we've got some really awesome panels in the works that I, I can't really, I can tell you sort of what they are, not necessarily who's doing them because they're not confirmed or announced yet, but women in horror. Ooh. Um, we've got various panels on women in gaming. Um, my husband just spent the past 10 years as the senior art director for Microsoft Game Studios, so I'm totally mil- milking that connection. Absolutely. Um, we, and then we've got, uh, you know, cultural commentators on various ac- aspects of popular culture. We've got somebody doing something on history of zines and zine making. Oh, my God. Um, life lessons from gaming, uh, tech crafting and tech fashion. Um, men writing great female characters and why. Uh, women in the sciences. Um, women running geeky businesses. So you guys are just try- essentially trying to span the, run the whole gamut. You're trying to cover as many as many uh, yep. areas as possible. There is no one way to be a geek. Well, and so. you're telling, <laughs> and you've got you're taking suggestions, right? You're taking we suggestions are. from uh, from our listeners, from your fans. How can people uh, how can people suggest panels? Well, so uh, we 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 already have sort of a list of the th- topics and themes that we want. So what I what I would like people to do if they want to present a panel. Not necessarily say, hey, you guys should do this or that, um, because we've been thinking about this for since August. <laughs> we kind of know what we want to do. <laughs> right. um, but if people, if you're a professional and you have like a really great um, sort of um, um, detailed idea of what you want to do and you want to bring it to our con, go to our website. Uh, there is a tab for you to... Um, Propose a panel, and there's a nice little form there that tells you what we're looking for and how to uh, send us a little synopsis of what you want to say or give us your bio, your, any affiliations you have. If you want to do a book signing, um, who else is going to be on your panel, that kind of thing. And then we'll be taking those till the end of May and then uh, going through them and putting some awesome programming together and then letting people know... Um, probably by July 1st. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. There's, there's going to be so, there are going to be so many amazing things to learn there. 
Yeah, and that website again is geekgirlcon.com. That is uh, linked up to ours, geekspeakradioshow.com. Going to take a little break. We're talking to Jen K. Stuller, who is the program and events coordinator for geekgirlcon.com. As you can hear, she makes it all happen. We'll get more into the convention and especially into Jen when we come back. Geek Speak Radio Show will be right back. 